Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda. <laughs> this week, I'm showing you how to cake a surprise inside roulette wheel for April Fool's Day. <laughs> I want to see it. Can I see it? Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I have a freshly baked vid. Let's do this. I can't believe I'm about to do this. <laughs> I have a recipe of my Italian meringue buttercream right here and I'm going to color some of it blue and some of it pink. Just to be clear, I'm making a surprise inside roulette wheel, not a gender announcement <laughs> cake. I have two chocolate cakes and one vanilla, which I am going to fill with that buttercream. But first, I need to cut several secret chambers. I've marked the Lazy Susan into six equal portions. This way, when I build the cake directly on it, I'll know where to lay my six secret chambers. Secret chamber must be whispered. Secret chambers are next. This is just a piece of parchment paper that's the same size as my cakes, and I folded it into six sections. I'm going to use this template to map out where the holes for my secret chambers will go. So it's one hole you cut out of the whole thing. Well, you'll see. No, didn't you ever make paper dolls? No, you and your weird templates. Oh, cool! Wow. Oh, it's like a movie reel. Wow. <laughs> You've heard of 007. I'm 006. <laughs> Why six? Because there's six secret oh, chambers. Oh, right. <laughs> now I need to cut my secret chambers out of one of the chocolate layers and the vanilla layer. I'm going to lay the template on top of the cake and use the same circle cutter to cut out the secret chambers. It's time for simple syrup. Thank you, template. <laughs> Make sure to let the simple syrup soak in. <laughs> I'm gonna ice this cake with my blue buttercream. Gotta ice all around and in between the chambers. I'm gonna clean up any excess buttercream from the inside of the secret chambers. I'm also gonna clean the excess buttercream away from the edges of the cake as well. Place your vanilla cake layer on top, making sure to line up the secret chambers. This is gonna be really tricky. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> so just don't fight it. The cake might break. Just let it break, take a break, breathe, and put it on in pieces, still making sure to line up the secret chambers. Man, come on! <laughs> Keep smiling. It's okay, cake. It's all right, I'm here for you. I'm gonna put you back together. Let's get some pink buttercream on our completely intact <laughs> vanilla cake layer. My secret chambers are ready to be filled. But remember, this is a roulette wheel cake. So half of them are gonna be filled with all this goodness. I have marshmallow rice crispy mixture, pop rocks, peanut butter cups, caramel and Nutella in these two piping bags. Yum. For the other three chambers, Jeremy, Jocelyn and I have each selected a lovely ingredient from our home kitchens. I chose wasabi mustard and salt and vinegar chips. Jocelyn, what have you brought me from your lovely home kitchen? Yum. Pickled eggplant and hot peppers. Now, Jeremy, what have you brought me? Oh no. Seafood. <laughs> Yum, tuna. Solid white tuna. Thank you for getting low sodium. I really <laughs> appreciate that. I think in my first chamber, I want to put my Rice Krispie mixture and some Pop Rocks. Imagine how super crunchy explosion that would be in your mouth. In chamber number two, I was thinking of pairing Reese cups with drizzled caramel. Because girl, 
You know I love you, but I love peanut butter cups too. I hope to see you again, peanut butter cup. I think I'm also gonna throw a Ferrero Rocher on top. You know, cause it's bougie. <laughs> and finally, Italian meringue buttercream and Nutella. Okay, we're done. Let's put the top layer no. on. No. <laughs> Fine, Jocelyn. Now, I skipped a secret chamber while I was adding all my good ingredients. This way, in the roulette wheel, it will alternate good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. Yolanda, Jocelyn, Yolanda, <laughs> Jeremy, Yolanda, Jocelyn. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill the remaining secret chambers with all of this goodness. That was uh, something I've never done before and something I hope I'll never do again. And now for another first time experience here on How to Cake and I'm gonna open a can of tuna. At least it will be a slice filled with omegas. <laughs> That's true. Does tuna have a lot of omegas? I, I think, think so. Okay, I think it's, um, yeah. Yeah, it's full. I think it's full of tuna, this secret chamber. Doesn't that look appetizing? Now remember, once I put this on, we don't know which secret chamber is which. <laughs> A moment, shh. I'm just praying to the cake gods, hold on. I'm hoping they're gonna be good to me. Now like any normal cake, it's time to crumb coat and chill. Now, not all my mega cakes are filled with hot peppers and tuna. In fact, none of them are. I have a full playlist of mega cakes that are 100% delicious right here. This one's just 50% delicious. Now that my crumb coat is chill, I'm gonna ice this cake one more time. Nice. That was like... I'm the Beyonce of dubbing. <laughs> My cake is chilling and now I'm gonna knead and roll out all of this fondant to decorate this cake and make it look like the wheel of misfortune that it really is. <laughs> hey yo, this is a great time to make our big announcement. Okay, this is... This is huge. Huge. A lot of you write to me and ask me why we don't have a second channel, why don't I vlog? So we have come up with something so exciting. Right now, on this very day, we are launching our second YouTube channel called How To Need It. It's basically me needing all of the fondant that I need on how to cake it. Today's first video, I don't want to wreck it, but today I'm gonna need white fondant. But what color am I gonna do next week? Don't tell them, Yolanda. Oh, of course not. Don't. I'm gonna leave you in suspense. Yeah. Make sure you check it out, link in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the action footage of all this colorful kneading, head over to How to Knead It. But for now, there you go. My fondant is all rolled out and ready to be cut. I made this template that fits the size of each one of the sections of my cake. I'm going to cut a triangle out of all six of these colors and each one will cover one section of the top of my cake. Now I need to cut bands of fondant that I'm gonna to add to the sides of this cake. I need to place the triangles of fondant on top of this cake, but I need to make sure that they match up with the lines that I marked out on the Lazy Susan. I'm just gonna line it up on the line and make a mark on the side of my cake so that I can see it from the top. Just love when things line up. <laughs> I was gonna say you love when things line up. I really do. You can use a flat spatula to help pick up your fondant carefully. Now I'm gonna place the matching color on the sides of this cake, trimming it clean at the marks. I 
A sharp knife, a good ruler, and a fondant smoother are great tools to use for applying fondant in sections like this. You may need to trim your fondant sometimes if it's a little too big, again, using your ruler and your sharp knife. This cake is already starting to look a lot like a wheel of misfortune, but I want to use my thinly rolled black fondant to create strips and cover all my seams between the colors. Then I'm going to cut out numbers and number them all. I'm applying my black fondant strips and numbers with a little bit of piping gel brushed on the back. The final detail I'm adding to this cake is a black outline around the outside of the circle. I'm going to use my clay extruder for this. <laughs> that was good, y'all! No, you were like, I'm going to use my clay extruder. <laughs> I just need to soften my black fondant with a bit of vegetable shortening. Yo, is this footage going on how to knead it or are we going to? Oh, gonna, what do you think? Maybe, maybe we should create how to soften it. <laughs> yeah. I think we should just be explicit. I'm using a small round faceplate. The plan is to extrude one long piece that makes it all the way around. I need to brush a bit of piping gel just at the edge of the top of my cake. I'm going to pick this up from one end and begin to add it to the edge of the cake. I'm just going to go around the cake and smooth the tube of fondant right to the edge. Jocelyn, I do expect you to sing our game show jingle when oh we gosh. play. Oh gosh, what is our game show jingle? Wheel of Misfortune! Last but not least, I want to add some sprinkles to the outside of three of the sections. I'm going to use yellow sprinkles on the yellow, pink sprinkles on the pink, and purple sprinkles on the orange. What? Oops. I mean purple sprinkles on the purple. I'm going to brush a thin layer of piping gel onto the surface of the cake before adding the sprinkles. Thanks for watching How to Cake It. Please subscribe to this channel and help me get to 3 million. And remember to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have a new video. You know what? <laughs> I've been thinking on the show maybe we should switch it up. Maybe we shouldn't do the cake cutting it. No, I think we We've should. been doing that for like two years. What if I don't cut the cake? Yeah, we really should cut the cake. I think we should spin, I think. And for breakfast, I had... <laughs> Granola. I'm just letting them know. People often ask about what I eat. I had a lovely avocado salad for lunch today. I really don't think I drank enough water today, so, though. So you're oh my to god, you know what, guys? Did I leave my oven on? No, I, I think. I hear something. Yeah, I'm not scared. Here I go. Alright. It looks like it's purple. What do you think? Purple or blue? It's kind of in the middle. I'll let you choose. My gut is saying six. Okay, done. Let's do this. You know how they say, believe your gut? <laughs> it's true. What? Believe your gut. Yay. <laughs> oh, two peanut butter cups sandwiched together between cake. <laughs> mm. Jocelyn, you doing your own spin? Spin it and don't look. That one around once. Four, She's gonna get four, four again. Four, four, four. It's five. How about if we share it? Really? You do that? No. <laughs> oh my. Would you look oh. at that eggplant oh. center? Mmm. Oh. There's blue buttercream in the midst of it. Oh! Okay, ready? I air oh. cheers. Cheers. You better not, not delay. Uh, you, you better, better not, not delay. delay. They can't see <laughs> you. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, this is bad. Oh, I don't know if I'll ever get that taste out of my mouth. You got number three, three Jeremy. Uh. Here you go. Jeremy, Jeremy, the show's over. Come get it. <laughs> Jeremy, it's all yours. Come on. How can you not want this slice? <laughs> Look at it.